Yo, what's up universe? Inside this video, we will create a scroll bar for our Flutter web project, like this one, as you can see. First, I just want to mention that this project is a responsive layout. So that's mean we are also able to have it in tablet and um, mobile phone. You can find all the code of this project inside the description. Okay, and we will display this little bar only if we are in web mode. First, I will restart the app just to show you what happened without this scroll bar. As you can see, we can scroll, but we will not see it. Let's go inside the code right now. First, we say if we are inside the web mode, then we display the description page that will scroll, but we will wrap it with the scroll bar like this. And as you can see, this is without the scroll bar. And now if I just restart the app, you can see that we have now the scroll bar like this. Perfect. But now the scroll bar will disappear. So it is not cool. What we will do is first I will put a comma. I will format document and I will say, okay, is always show true. So now we will always see this scroll bar just like this. So let's go. So it will always show the scroll bar, but we will like to see the track as well. So let's add the track. We will say uh, show track over true. We restart the app, a format document. And now, as you can see, if I go over, we can see all the track. But there is a problem. I can scroll like this, but I cannot scroll like this. So let's add a little something and this something will be a controller. So I have created a controller sliding in your DMs. We will put this controller for the single child scroll view. So here we go. Oops, like this. And we will also slide in the DM for the scroll bar. So we will use another controller like this one. I will restart the app, format the document. And now, as you can see, I can scroll with the scroll bar. So that is very cool. So yeah, this application is pretty responsive. And as you can see, it will not show if we are in the mobile mode. And this is what we wanted. Also, if you want to know how to create a responsive layout like this one, you can click on this video. Or if you want to have the seven best tips with Flutter, you can click on this one. That's it. See you on the next one. Peace.